Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. So, speaking of the soundtrack to my year, this guy has been the... <laughs> if, if, if the music we just talked about has been the soundtrack to my year, this guy has been the video or the movie of my year. The it's comedy. Been, uh, <laughs> he has been my comedic relief. He has been my example of what happens when talent is, manif- is not manifested to its full potential. He is my uh, just... This picture says it all. Brother Uma, for our weekly Uma update, I actually don't have a whole lot, but the little bit I do have is kind of crazy, as always. He is ending the year out in the bang. So next week, guys, when y'all see the Uma recap for the year, oh, man. <laughs> man. So anyway, since the last time we talked about Uma, he's a... Uh, continued with this pattern of behavior he has where every winter time, he not only ramps up his erratic behaviors um, because it starts to get cold and he starts to try to find a tour to go on where he can find hotels and stuff to stay in. Um, He also always finds somebody to argue with and beef with. So he can generate more fervor, get more people riled up and, and, you know, as always get back to his donations. So, now he's beefing with Tariq Nasheed over the Aboriginal Addos, um, the people who believe that, you know, Africans were here first and were the Native Americans, as opposed to the people who believe that the Africans came over on the slave trade. So he's arguing with this man and mad at him. And he's been throwing shots at Tariq Nasheed, but now he's trying to hide his hand and act like, well, I don't know. You know, I'm not going to be beefing with this man. And he's been not trying. He's been on the past couple of lives. He's been trying to not name Tariq Nasheed, but we know it's him. I've seen um, it. <laughs> yeah. So that's the that's how he's going to end the year. Beefing with another black man. This is the, like the third time he's beefed with Tariq Nasheed specifically since he was on the movie. Uh, what was it? Hidden Colors. When mm-hmm. it first started, he's beefed with Tariq Nasheed after that. And then they had squashed it. Then he brought it back up again and was like doing one of his tirades with his Pittsburgh hat on, with his, I mean, with his Phillies hat on, when he was going King Kong crazy. Um, and yeah, so that's what that's what one thing he's been up to. Um, he's been still on his book tour amidst all of this, amidst these erratic lives where he's talking about Tariq Nasheed and doing other random stuff with random Instagram filters and like just doing really weird stuff at this point. Um, rubbing his hands yeah. all crazy on the lab and shaking his hands and then pulling a Twix bar across the screen for no reason. Like, just really weird and erratic stuff that you wouldn't expect from a well-put-together professional psychologist that's supposed to be teaching babies. Um, so as, this con- as the book tour continues, a lot of people have started to now ask, well, what's going on? Why have you stopped working on the school? Because how are you going to work on the school if you haven't been at the school since... What was that? Whenever it was, when he had the, 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 the what was it, the second and the fourth, when he had the anti-protest, but won't nobody really there to protest. Mm. But we ain't saying no back at the school since then. Since then, he's been out on the road. But he keep claiming that he's collected donations because he want to have a school fixed by the spring. But how you going to have a school fixed by the spring when you're not there to actually have the contractors work on the school? So that's another thing that's starting to make people Question him and start to call him a scammer even worse. And now, as of today, I have confirmed, and I have confirmed it via Umar's Instagram, a lawsuit has been filed against Umar by a man in New Jersey. Um, Now, this paperwork that Umar showed in his Instagram photo where he claims that he is being, you know, under legal ramifications, um, this, the letter that he shows, the letterhead looks exactly like the letterhead that I saw a couple, like a week and a half ago um, on a couple of other YouTuber sites, but I wanted to wait because I wanted to make sure it was something that was actually official. It wasn't like a scam or people trying to be funny or just, you know, Uma is a, a kooky, scamming scammer, but I still don't want to go off of no fake stuff. But now Uma's confirmed it. And this looks like the same paperwork that uh, a dude named Max B World on YouTube uh, actually read through. 
And this lawsuit is about fraud and it literally chronicles with pictures and timestamps mm -hmm. and dates of Umar's own lives where stuff was crazy. It, everything that I've been talking to y'all about since I brought Umar up on this podcast is chronicled in this lawsuit with pictures, with the dates that he said it, everything from him talking about killing 10% of all black boys to him talking about young girls and their rotten cookies. Then he's talking about middle school girls, talking about they got rotten cookies and they're too fast. To him, like all of this stuff is chronicled throughout this, as well as every um, issue he had with GoFundMe, when his GoFundMe got messed up, when they when PayPal canceled him because of fraud, when like they, they got all of these receipts. So it's gonna be crazy for 2021 for Uma. So. Look forward to the recap for the year end recap next week where I literally run down Umar's entire year of 2020. And it has been a fucking doozy, bro. A fucking doozy, god damn it. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, that's been this week's Umar update. <sighs> yeah. Question, question two. Ask it. So what did Umar disagree with? What side was he on when he um uh, with the topic of was Africans already here in America? He said he's was... against tribalism. So he said he believes that Tariq Nasheed and him and them that believe this are really trying to like separate themselves from the greater group of Africans worldwide. And mm -hmm. he's all about pan-Africanism. So he's still standing on what he at least... That's one thing I've seen him at least stand strong on. He's always saying he's pan-African, and that's what he's saying he's against Tariq Nasheed on. But, yeah. Mm. The, 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 the verbiage, the terminology, the intonations, and the body language that he uses when he's talking about these people is the problem. Like, you can yeah. disagree on ideologies, but when you look like you want to physically do something, yeah, that's he got to get over that. <laughs> got to get over that shit again. And if this is just a random YouTuber, cool. You telling me this is Logan or Jake Paul or KSI <laughs> or or one of these crazy people on YouTube? That this is what they do for a living is just do crazy stuff for reaction. Cool. But this is a man who's claiming that he's trying to open a school. He wants <laughs> us to give money to him to open a school to teach our black boys. And this is the behavior that I'm seeing from him. I would not like, I, this is not somebody that I would trust my child with. Yeah. In any shape, form or fashion, especially when he's also on take talking about, he's gonna take black boys that get in trouble at his school into the black room where he will pound their chest in with a group of other black men. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, is he trying to- If you're enjoying this content uh, and wanna hear more, Listen to the whole podcast by going to yeah. The Podnas. That's T H E P O D N A S on all podcast streaming sites. Or to make it easy on yourself, you can go to thepodnas.com. That's T H E P O D N A S.com for all info on The Podnas movement. What's going on, y'all? This is Face One Third of Podnas. Make sure y'all come to YouTube every Wednesday and check out our new episode of The Podnas Podcast. Also, check us out online for our new apparel dropping every week. Um, that'll be at teespring.com backslash stores backslash partners dash closet dash one. Once again, that's teespring.com backslash stores backslash partners P O D N A S dash closet C L O S E T dash the number one. We get at you. Just updated on the store. We have mugs, hoodies, shirts, bags, kids' clothes, and face mask show you are down with the pod squad rep the podness by going to teespring.com backslash stores backslash podness dash closet dash one to get all of our newest merch and as always follow our entire movement at the welcome to the podness with face pat and tiz